everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Stone Enjoy by 21417 Chocolate and Coffee IPA. So, for this rendition of the now classic Enjoy by, they're adding chocolate and coffee to the mix just in time for Valentine's Day. Really looking forward to checking this one out with you guys. I'm assuming it might be something along the lines of their Mocha IPA. Let's go ahead, check out the aroma. Oh, yeah, definitely getting coffee up front. It's this really nice, it kind of smells like a medium roast type of coffee. It's not real, real strong and dark smelling. But yeah, definitely getting coffee up front. Maybe a hint of chocolate. Very, very mild compared to these kind of bigger, you know, kind of coffee notes. Getting some sweet orange, a little bit of peach. There's definitely some dankness, a little bit of like a resiny kind of green hoppy note in there too. Yeah, there's almost like this dank sticky note going on. But yeah, decent bit of coffee in the aroma for sure. A little bit less in terms of the chocolate. Like it's very, very mild, but smells pretty good, guys. Let's go ahead, check out the taste. Cheers. Oh yeah, just like in the aroma up front, definitely get hit by the coffee. And again, it's kind of more of like a light to medium roast type of coffee. And you're not getting those really dark, big, intense type of coffee notes, which I think a lighter to medium roast definitely works better for an IPA. You know, something darker can definitely work with a stout or a porter. But if you went too heavy on the coffee, it would just kind of make things weird in a lighter beer. But yeah, definitely in the coffee up front. Not getting a ton of chocolate. There is a little bit of a hint of like kind of milk chocolate in there, but not very strong. Again, it's mostly dominated by the coffee. And then right away, I'm getting like sweet orange, a little bit of peach, bittersweet grapefruit, definitely comes some kind of like stone fruit notes, immediately followed by big, dank, sticky, west coast kind of piney notes, really big like resinous on the finish too. Medium bodied, crisp, clean, slightly coating, kind of creamy mouthfeel to this one. Slight bit of warming in the chest. You know, I mean, it's definitely not boozy. You can't smell or taste the alcohol. You do get a little bit of warmth in the chest, but for over 9%, it's not bad. It's still very, very easy to drink. And I gotta say that the chocolate definitely seems to make this one a little bit less intensely bitter. It's still very bitter, it's still very dry. You know, it's classic enjoy by for sure. But at the same time, a little bit of that chocolate sweetness kind of finishes on the palate along with that kind of like green, resiny kind of hop thing going on. Really nice though, very enjoyable, really well done. I actually think this might be closer to Dayman that they did years ago compared to the Mocha IPA, which I did enjoy the Mocha IPA a lot, but it didn't remind me as much of Dayman as this one kind of is. I think that this is a little bit lighter on the chocolate, a little bit heavier on the coffee, which I am A-okay with for sure. Yeah, still really they pulled it off with this one. Again, lighter mix in terms of the chocolate, which is fine. You get a little bit up front, a little bit on the finish, but mostly it's the coffee and it's the big West Coast kind of hops, the stone fruit notes, the dank green resiny kind of notes, just all really working well together. I'm actually enjoying this one quite a bit, more than I thought I might, to be honest with you guys. Really, really like it. It's not my favorite variant of the Enjoy By series. Unfiltered still reigns supreme for me, but I like this better than the Tangerine one for sure. It's just, it's really, really well done. So in terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.2 out of 10. Big time drinkability. A lot of coffee, a little bit less on the chocolate. Again, that's big for me. Just a really awesome beer. If you guys have enjoyed this one, see what I did there? Or if you have had some of the other Enjoy By or the variants, let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty, guys. Thanks so, so much for watching this video. Excuse me. I obviously haven't had enough to drink yet, right? 
Thanks so much for watching this one, guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button for me. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe. And, of course, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.